What's up everyone, this is Mike Rock with Game Spartans, bringing you game reviews and gameplay videos from the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate Library. And in today's video, we are continuing gameplay with part two of three of a remake for the 1991 Nintendo classic Battletoads. The gameplay from our first video was super fun, and with part two, the action and laughs get even better. Again, no commentary, just gameplay. If you enjoy the content, please like and or subscribe to our YouTube channel and be sure to check out the show notes and links in the description below. All the stuff that gear I used to shoot this video, where you can get awesome video game merchandise, and how to join the Game Spartans community for daily live streams and other content that you won't find here. Let's jump into the gameplay. You're a queen. You're unflappable. Suck my frigging butt, you backstabbing punks. Chug my dump truck, you stinky wimps. Beep, beep, garbage butt backing up. I hate the battle toads. Gotcha. Hey, a queen. Correct me if I'm wrong. Earlier, did I hear you scream that we stink? What? No, I was talking about the cattle toads. Like you guys, but cattle. They stink. I'm so friggin' pumped. We're gonna be famous. Sup, Topian scum? We just stole a spaceship, and we're coming for you. The battle toads and the Dark Queen are gonna destroy you. And in case you're wondering, our exact space coordinates are 3x5, 4, 3. Stop that. Your Majesties? Yes, mortal. Moments ago, we received this transmission. The Battle Toads and the Dark Queen are gonna destroy you! <gasps> Did that voice just say it was going to destroy us? Who would want to destroy you? You've got the most amazing shape. I'm wearing Nebulous from Zorthos. You know the cluster with the gross bugs? Oh, the gross bugs. See, I think they're cute bugs. With their little wobble. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the wobble. I wonder if they're ready to evolve. <gasps> Might be fun to set them up. With a fourth dimension? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, see, this is why little old me and you run the universe. Oh, great ones. What do you want to do about the Dark Queen and the Battletoads? Huh? Oh, alert the galaxy and kill them. And I'm waiting on a sandwich. <laughs> great torturing, torture team. <laughs> Forgive me. Forgive? More like 400 lashes. <laughs> See what I did there? I took four. Oh, I love it. Whip him. Yes, and hear that pun in your nightmare. Yeah. Whip him. Whip him good. That should be a song. Write that down. Pardon my interruption, oh floating ones, but we still haven't located the Dark Queen. Oh my god, what kind of an update is that? Yeah, restaurants don't say, excuse me, we haven't started making your food. Oh, you know, that one place did. Oh, that's right, the place that's mean on purpose. I don't want to pay you to be mean to me. That's what I have a mother for. Have you found the other ones? The, uh, arbal toes? The t total oats? Oh, the things we're looking for. The brut brutables. Bartle bears? The tattle toes? The beetle bugs? Fire bats? The jitsu bats? Battle... Battle bees? That's it. That's it. Battle bees. The battle bees. The battle toads. I'm afraid they've eluded capture as well. What? What did you do? Well, I made him three inches shorter. Doesn't seem like much, but his entire life will change. Now, do your job before I give you combination skin. That's like when part of your skin is dry. Parts are oily and parts are dry. Right. We need the right product. Those ugly toads and that spinny little witch might be more of a formidable team than we thought. We couldn't do this without you. You're the most important member of the team. Just don't tell the others I said that, okay? Where are we? Jerkery 9, an outer ring planet and home to an old cohort of mine named Jeffrey. And he's see-through? Cool. He's a well-connected diplomat who knows of a secret entrance into Topian City. However, I need to speak with him alone. Okay, what's going on here? I thought I was a leader. Are you all conspiring behind my back? Seriously, like, am I hearing it? Do I sound crazy? Am I crazy right now? No, no way. You're the leader. Okay, good. Great. In that case, I say the queen waits outside while we talk to Jeff. You don't even know Jeff. Why would he trust you? Why do you trust me? I don't. That's why I don't want you talking to Jeff. Too bad. I'm pulling rank. This is so stupid. Stupid. I declare one of those thingies a tissue boom? Toe shampoo! Toe shampoo! Toe shampoo! Toe shampoo! And introducing the Dark Queen! Chapel! 
Dark Queen loses. Dark Queen loses. Dark Queen loses. Dark Queen loses. Again. Sorry, Queen. Call me if you have any problems. Oof, talk about a superiority complex. Okay, everyone, keep your eyes peeled for Jeff. I'm Jeff. How may I help you? Yeah, hi. I'm in charge here, and we're gonna need you to tell us the secret way in Utopian City, please. And thank you. We're working with the Dark Queen. She works for us, actually? The Dark Queen is challenging the Topians? Of course I'll share the coordinates. However, I'll need to speak with the Queen herself alone. We can call her. No. Anything you would tell her, you can tell us. Uh, that's the opposite of what I said. <laughs> Not to mention, I'm busy negotiating peace between two warring tribes by acquiring their medallions of respect. So, unless you connect me with the Dark Queen immediately, we have nothing left to discuss. Here. No! Give it here! Uh... Hello? Is something wrong? Uh, uh, um, uh, Je Jeff is fine. Jeff is fine. That's a weird thing to say. Can I talk to him? <clears throat> this is Jeff. Jeff, you sound different. I have pink eye. Pink eye doesn't change how you sound. I mean, pink mouth? So sorry, it's super pink. Gotta go. Bye. Whew, that bought us some time. Time for what? Time to help Jeff's body earn those medallions. He'll wake up and see what we did and then fork over the coordinates. Any objections? Will it matter? No, it will not. Let's find those medallions. Toads, I've intercepted radio chatter about a topian checkpoint in the area. Be careful and don't leave the palace. That would be stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Ow! Oh, crap! There's a bee in the spaceship. Ow, ow, ow!
it's Jeff. How did he beat us here? I think some things in life just won't make sense. What do you mean? Like, maybe God didn't have the time or the budget to make everything perfect, or maybe there were just some outside mitigating circumstances. Sounds like a lot of excuses. Yes, it does, Rash. Yes, it does. I'm sorry, Jeff. Lumberjack lost states the medallion must be taken, not given. Even though you're super cool. Way cooler than my roommate. Like, how hard is it to rinse your dishes? Anyway, good luck in the battle. I kill everyone! Gymnasts agreed to stop attacking the Lumberjacks. We Lumberjacks agree to the same. Thank you, Jeff, for brokering this truce. Don't you mean spruce? Like the tree? Wow, you really understand Lumberjacks now. <laughs> Let's eat! Oh, yeah, yum yum time! <gasps> <gasps> what? I thought dinner was served. That wasn't dinner. That was a server. Oh, <laughs> You survived malaria. You can survive this. Son. Get off me! He's gonna pull through! You have to let him go. <laughs> We're lovers. <sighs> Time of death, 632. Cause of death, someone else's stupidity. Uh, uh, whoops. Hold on. Jeff loves small food. He would never have mistaken small waiters for the actual meal itself. He's unconscious! Hey, who are you three? These frogs have been puppeteering Jeff like some sort of stringed toy! Deciding their fate will be the first act of our newly peaceful society. Kill them! All in favor, say aye! Aye! aye. This is fine. Everything's fine. We're riding on Jeff's body! And he hasn't complained, so this is fine! Enough is enough. We need DQ's help. No, we don't. 
Yes, we do. Fine. I can't get to the phone right now. I'm probably doing something evil. Please leave a message. Hey, uh, Queen, I just called to say we're in a bit of a jam and uh, we could use a tiny bit of rest break, so a little help, maybe? Uh, this is it, by the way. I'm still a good leader. Bye. Looks like we were saved by the long arm of the claw. No? Nothing? Mm, okay. To Jeff. He was praising my leadership when he just collapsed. Uh, the Dark Queen, you look different than I remember. Hello again, Jeffrey. We're looking for the secret entrance to Topian City. Will you help us? You! You knocked me unconscious! You did? I would never! But I did, yes, accidentally. I refuse to help these Cretans, Queen. Dump the frogs, then we can talk. You know what? One more thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it absolutely has to be said. This new outfit? <laughs> Thank you, Jeffrey. You've made this much, much easier. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Tell me the location of the secret entrance! Ah, it's a map in my back pocket! It's yours! Ah! Got it. I guess we've changed, Jeff. Ah! I've grown more impatient, and you want to control what I'm wearing. Like you're entitled to it because we hung out 20 years ago. Ah! Oh, Jeffrey, ah! you've soiled your pants. <laughs> What are you gonna do with me? I've already let you down once. Why not twice? <laughs> we got the map. You're not mad that we lied to you? I'm more relieved no one had pink eye. We've been touching all the same doorknobs. Yep, bottom line, I displayed great leadership by calling the queen for help. And as our leader, I've decided that we should follow her lead for the rest of the mission. Huh, that almost sounds like an apology. I think Zitz just had a breakthrough. What do you say, Queen? I say, next stop, Popian City. Jeff didn't exactly stick the landing. Was that a gymnast joke, you lumberjack sack of crap? Are you making fun of the sack lunges we lumberjacks bring into the forest? Goodbye, truce. Welcome back, Sweet War. <laughs> <laughs> 